Okay, this is triplet roll exercise number eight. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to play sixes. So if you will look at the six stroke rolls in the first measure, we've got two sets of triplets, a six stroke roll, and then a six stroke roll which carries over into the next bar. Okay, so actually you're thinking of the first six stroke roll but then the other diddles are on the last two uh, partials of the last triplet. Okay, if that makes sense. So the first line of eight is the same. First measure and the second measure are the same. All right, and then when you get to the second line, we're doing a four and a four. The triplets set up the three sixes on the end. So we've got three sixes, three six stroke rolls on the last measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're not going to be able to think that fast or, or count it that fast, but once you get the muscle memory in, uh, you're just simply playing it. You're not really counting it. So here's number eight. We're going to play it through one time. Here we go. Here's number eight. One, two, three, and. Let's do that again. And. One, two, three, and. Now we're going to repeat. One, two, ready, and. One more time. One, two, ready, and. So this is thinking outside the box a little bit, a little more unorthodox, but if you look at the previous seven videos, get all of those in your muscle memory, and then start learning eight, nine, and 10, I think you'll have a, a pretty good packet of exercises uh, for chop building, for creating a triplet uh, role vocabulary, which is what this is designed to do, to build your vocabulary, and that's very important. So. Uh, stay tuned for number nine and have a blessed day and keep on drumming.